Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the grip. And this is a very, you know, a lot of people are going to go, Chris, you're out of your mind. You're absolutely out of your mind. Well, I got news for you, I'm not. And you got to understand, Hogan, like some people on the on this channel have been making comments that like, Hogan was very unorthodox in what he did. But the the truth is, Hogan was extremely calculated in what he did. And just because we can see, like, this is going to be on the grip in the book, you know, he gets this grip, it looks like that, it's very sturdy, he can control this, he can waggle, he can do all these kind of different things, and really to get that club to the top in the proper position. But what I want you to do, just so you can follow along with me, is take a club, just in your lead hand, and go like this and put it down and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Well, what I want you to do is when you take your grip, I want you to put your thumb on top of the grip, but in the center of the grip, okay? You'd be like, okay, Chris, what is this all about? Well, then what I want you to do is I want you to put the club like this, okay? And then what I want you to do from here is to just drop the club. Right here, just hold it up about that height and just drop the club. So we're here at this height, drop the club. Now what you're going to notice when you go from here to here is that you're going to get a little looseness here and believe it or not, there's air now in between here, okay? It's not a part of the trick, guys, it's the truth. So I've got it here, my thumb is on top in the center of the grip on top of the shaft. So I go like this, come up, I've got the cup, I've got it up like this, right? So I'm here, it's up, now drop it. And the second that I drop it, you are gonna feel pressure on the center of the thumb and you're gonna get just a little air here and this is gonna feel like it is slipping a little bit, okay? Now what I want you to do is let's get a strong grip with the left hand. So now the thumb is no longer going to be on top of the shaft. It's going to be slightly offset to the right. Me being, this would be opposite for a left-handed player, me being right-handed. So now that the thumb is offset slightly to the right, I want you to do the same thing here. Okay, so we're going to, you know, put this up here and then we're going to drop it. Just get it up here and drop it. And when it drops, what you're gonna feel, if I can get that good camera angle, so I drop it and then I get a little air here and I get a tremendous amount of pressure in my thumb. Okay, so what is that again? Here, we're strong grip, we're gonna take it up and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna drop it. And when I drop it, the same thing happens. I get a little air in there, and this feels like it's gonna slide, okay? So here's the very controversial part that all of, not all of you, but some of you are gonna go, oh, that's crazy, it's crazy. You have to understand, Hogan was extremely calculated, and for you to understand this, you're gonna have to try it, because when people get set up with, uh, let's just say the thumb is on the top, Okay, and then when they take it away, you are instigating, you're gonna feel more of your right hand. Try it, you will, okay? Because you're no different than me, we're all human beings. And the second I put this left thumb on top of the shaft and I start taking it away, I will feel my right hand will take over. It just absolutely will. So now let's do it like, the modern golf swing teaches our teaching philosophies, the modern teaching philosophies. Let's get a strong left hand so it can help us close, you know, get this club face coming back to square. But now if I do a strong left hand and put my right on there and I take it away, guess what? The right hand is going to be activated. It is. So it's like, well, Chris, Jesus, man, what's, what's the other option? What's the other option? Well, guess what, guys? If you get set up like this and you say, I'm in my posture, take my hand and I flip it to me like this. So then when I grip the club, it's gonna look like that. 
Then I come over and I am going to put my thumb on the left side, slightly off center. Okay, so let me see if I can get a good angle at that. So I'm here, I've gripped the club, wrap it like that, and see how there's these lines, these little X lines, which is why I'm using this. I'm putting my thumb on the left side of center. And the cool part is I'm putting my thumb to where I've got, let's say I've got the center of my thumb, mine being the right, the right point of my thumb, and then the left point of my thumb. Okay, so when I get this set up this way and I've come here and then I've got this, the inner, which would be the closest facing me, this part of my thumb, which would be, if you're looking at it here, it's going to be on the right side for a right-handed player. This would be opposite for a left. So now when I grip the club and I've got that pressure point, that pressure, I'm not gripping it with my thumb, but when I put that pressure point on the left side of the center of the shaft for a right-handed player, and then when I grip the club and I take this away, you are going to feel the club at all times. So that is what Hogan's talking about with the connection of being able to feel both hands. So instead of having the left thumb on the right side of the shaft, and the right thumb on the left side of the shaft, we're just getting this pressure point in that tip of the finger, which is, from my perspective, if I'm looking at my thumb, it's on the right side. So now all of a sudden I put it, there, put it on the right side, and this is really going to make you start feeling these last three fingers. Because again, it's the last three in these two. But there is a pressure point in this thumb that now when I take this club to the top, and I'll do it strictly left-handed, that club ain't moving, guys. I can put it up here, drop it. I can do, you know, all kinds of here, drop it. I have got this, look, no air. There's no air, there's no nothing. Because the thumb's pressure point this just tiny, stupid little pressure point on the right side of my thumb, on it's really, if you break it into thirds, the right third, the center, and the left third, I'm putting the right third pressure point on the left side of center of the shaft. And then I'm like this, and I, I grip it, and then, although you can't see it, this now places the thumb on top of what needs to happen. And then from here, guys, you're going to be like, oh my goodness gracious, I can feel this club all the way at the top. I can feel both hands, finally. And I'm telling you, try it. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I am telling you right now, if you try this, you will be like, the first time in your life, you are going to feel the connection of both hands. Okay. Let's come back to here for a second. A lot of people, if I put my hands together like this, like I was grabbing a club, everybody's going to be like, oh, those are opposing each other. Okay? Makes sense. Hell, that's the way I was taught, right? But when you take that thumb and you get that pressure point on the left side of the shaft and you're right here, you are just, you're not going to believe it because there's more to it, okay? I don't know if you guys are like me. I've, you know, researched Hogan throughout my entire life. And some of you may have heard or may not have heard about the butterfly grip. So it comes down like this. It kind of looks like a little butterfly, whatever, which is that left hand goes like this, but the thumb is going to be on the left side. And then this hand comes down like this. So it's like there and it covers. Okay, when I pick it up, you can see how my knuckles look this way. So I put it down. I've got this butterfly grip like this, okay? But the reality is why? It's why. Why does it, why does it look like this? Look how both of the angles of my wrist are like this, and I'm just putting them like that. But even though we know this hand is rotated a little bit and it's on the left side, it's still like that. Okay, but this butterfly grip does what? If you put your wrist up just like this, okay, here's my left wrist, and I'm gonna cock it just like that, and I put a line here and a line there, my wrist will go this way at a 45 degree angle. My other wrist can only go 
this way at a 45 degree angle are pretty damn close, okay? So now, when I put these two 45s together, watch what happens. Oh my God, it's a 90 degree angle. Oh my God, it's a 90 degree angle. So what you're doing when you're doing this grip the way that I'm showing you, you get that left thumb on the left side of the shaft, that pressure point, not the whole thing. Pressure point on the left, butterfly grip with the right on the top, which is gonna engage these two fingers. I come here, now I've got these 45s and 90s to be able to stay underneath the hands and you're gonna feel both hands finally, then you'll get to the top. And when you get to the top, now you've got this thing supported to where you could start doing exactly what Hogan was talking about. Get the lower body moving. It all starts in the knees and the hips. We're gonna to get to that video next. We'll see you in the next video. All right, so now that we've got, watch what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put the club down like this. Then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna grab it from underneath, just like I said, I'm gonna come here. Now, if I rotated that there, like a, just let's call this a neutral modern teaching grip, I'll be here. Now, Hogan said when he weakened his left hand, it was one turn, a one quarter turn. So watch this, I'm here thinking, okay, that's pretty good. But if I move my hand a quarter of a turn, it puts this pressure point on the left side of center of the grip. So then it's like, oh, okay, cool. Now let me come down. I'm butterflying gripping it, but really it's like this, and then I just wrap. And it's gonna put that right in the palm of my hand, but what you're going to feel is you're finally going to feel both hands. What is the majestic part about that? You'll know where the club head is. You'll, your hands connect to the grip. They're the only thing that has a relationship with this club head, your hands. So if you can get your hands on here correctly and put them like this, and then you're gonna you know, make your moves and get to where you've gotta get to at the top. And then now when you're coming down, I'm telling you, you are going to feel both hands and then you're able to you know leverage this club exactly the way that hogan was and we're going to get into that in you know the next video or ones coming up soon so remember as crazy as you think this is put your left thumb there's center there's to the right for a right-handed player move that pressure point to the left side because i'm not trying to press down with the thumb or anything stupid i'm just here and I'm gonna move it to where that pressure point is now sitting left of center that I'm gonna put my right hand on. And I'm telling you, you can, and this is not what Hogan was doing, guys, but you could take this club just like this and you're gonna feel both hands. You could take this club like this, you're gonna feel both hands. You can get this club at the top because we went under and up, you are going to feel both hands. And then when you come through, you're going to feel both hands and then as you finish the swing and all these things you're finally going to be oh my god i figured it out because it's not that oh you've got to go and work out your your lead hand a hundred thousand hours to strengthen this left hand no you don't this pressure point in the thumb is an amazing amazing thing so all of a sudden you're here let left of center with that pressure point of the thumb now i put the right on man my hands are gonna work together no matter what I do. But the second I move it to center, eh, right hand's gonna, somewhere back here in the backswing, your right hand's gonna take over, it's gonna screw you up. Strong grip, pressure point is way messed up because now it's using this pressure point, which would be on the left side of center of my thumb, so when I'm on the strong grip like this. So then when I take it away, my brain's going, no, you're gonna engage the right side. So make sure you try it. I know it's gonna, you guys might be thinking, looking at me like, what the F? But the truth is, do it. Do it, just do it and say, okay, well, Chris, I'm gonna get that grip. I'm gonna come in like this. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna close the grip on my hand. And now I'm gonna get that thumb pressure point on the left side of center. And then I put my right arm, which is these two fingers. And then I'm 
wrapping it to get into that where Hogan said it's like right there in your thumb, in your, your pad of the right hand, and then you're gonna be here, and you're gonna be like for the first time in your life, you are going to feel what two hands working as one unit is actually gonna do for you. We'll see you in the next video.